Mike Schmitz here with Jalen Duran. We're at USA Basketball in Colorado Springs. Over 80 different prospects here playing, getting up and down. Uh, what has the first day been like for you so far? Uh, just learned a lot. Uh, uh, just absorbing all I can from the coaches and trying to get better. For people watching this who maybe don't know much about you as a player, you know, you're know you still obviously very young, how would you describe your game? Uh, I think I play uh, with like a lot of intensity. I think I play hard. I think I, I go out there. I like to play defense. I like to guard one through the five as much as I can and just give my team what they need. I think what stands out about you initially is just your physical tools, obviously for your age also. Have you always been one of the bigger, stronger, more explosive guys? Uh, I say for the most part of my life, like since I started playing basketball, I've been always the tallest. But uh, I guess as I got older, my body started developing more, and I've been growing into my size. More, so. And you played at the under 16s last summer uh, with the USA. What was that experience like for you? Uh, it was a great experience. I've never been off the country before that. Uh, I've seen a lot, and it was just like it was amazing to see the different culture and eat the different foods and all that. What can you tell me about your background? You know, where you're from, uh, when you first started playing basketball, some things like that. Uh, my family originally from Philly. Uh, I started playing basketball when I was like, I'd say six, five, six. Uh, nothing really, nothing much. I mean, I got a normal family. I mean, I just play basketball. They support me. Uh, nothing, nothing. Yeah. Too crazy. Any other athletes in your family? Uh, no, I, uh, I got a couple track winners. Uh, nothing, no other basketball players. Did you have, did you play any other sports growing up? I played football for a little bit as younger and I had to choose which one so I chose basketball. And what about your parents? What do they do for work? Brothers, sisters? Uh, I mean, my father works for something in Philly and uh, my mom works at, at a, uh, like a mental hospital. You have any siblings? Yeah, I got, I got an older sister and a little brother. And they play basketball also or no? I'm no. a little sister. My little brother, he, he does everything, you know, how at a young age. He, does, yeah. he played football, basketball, soccer. What do you think you need to improve the most? Uh, for me, I just want to improve the all around me. I just want to be able to do everything. I mean, the game is changing. You know, I've got to be able to do everything. I want to play defense at a high level. I want to be able to go inside in and out. I want to be able to pass. Shoot. You mentioned the game is changing. It's, a, you know, Bigs are shooting threes, uh, everybody's switching defensively. How do you think you kind of fit in into today's game? Uh, I think with me, I'm definitely working on it every day. Uh, no matter the defense to offense, I'm working on both aspects, trying to get better, trying to become the best me I can be. Uh, I think uh, as I go on, I'm going to fit into it way more, and it's, just, it's only up there. Who are some of your biggest influences in, in your life, whether it's you know family, coaches, uh, some things like that? Uh, definitely my mom. My mom Everywhere with me, she supports me. She, she like she handles this. She goes through this lifestyle with me, and she's just my big supporter. So I got to Anyone you work with, like skills wise? Uh, not not a set. I'm not a set trainer. Uh, I mostly I like to get up shots uh, on my own. But I, I work with some of my coaches at my school. And, uh, my what is it about players from Philly? There's a level of toughness there. Why do you think that is? Uh, just just like just seeing guys like. Uh, Hollis and all, like, they play so hard. And, uh, it's just in the blood. Like you go out there and compete every time, no matter what. Like no matter who's in front of you, you can be the best guy in the country, the worst guy in the country. You go out there and play hard. It's all about that. Is there anyone you watch in the NBA and say, you know, maybe I could be that guy? Uh, definitely. I try to. I try to become like an Andrew Davis type of guy. Just seeing how he does everything, and he's just a generational player. Like, he's, he's definitely a unicorn. So I try to. Try to how would you describe yourself off the court? Any non-basketball interests? What, where are you at with that? Uh, I say, um, I, I just school. School is the best way I live my life. Uh, it's really all I do, all I love to do. And I just keep my mouth closed. And lastly, where do you see yourself five years from now? Five years, let me see. Well, hopefully the league, knowing what I got to do, and getting better and better, and staying with this game. Great. Well, thanks so much. Good luck to you. Thank you.